It started when I moved out to LA. I was 17 years old, but I was just so driven. So I just cold called all the studios from my house in Michigan saying like, do you need actors? And they're like, no. But then when I got to the very end of the list, it was Universal Studios and they were like, well, we need tour guides. So I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, he goes, well, you gotta, you gotta get here in two days because uh, that's when the, um, you know, when we're doing the, the, the audition. And so I had got in the car with my next door neighbor and we just drove straight through to LA from Michigan and got here just in time. And they liked me and so they put me into the training program. And then God, I talk about like <laughs> just straight to the epicenter of the dream, right? You know, it's like because my dad's like, well, no, you can start here and then you can make, you know, there's a, a company called Jam Handy. They made industrials. He's like, oh, you don't have to go out there. You can probably be an actor in these industrials, you know, for Jam Handy. I was like, I don't know if I want to try to conquer Detroit. If I'm going to put all this time into it, I'm going to and go to where it is right. and see if I can do it. And also, I really just wanted to flee my bullies, I think. I mean, I, it's, you know, whether I was gonna run into them again or not, I don't know. It just, I'm like, what is, is this, the world can't be like this. It can't be this bad. You know, so I always look at like Los Angeles and Hollywood, like it's gotta be better out there. I mean, that's where artists live and that's where funny people and actors and successful people live. So I came out with a head full of steam to be a tour guide. Then I found out about USC Film School, got into USC Film School. And when I first went to LA, it was just like, oh, this is gonna be like a fun exploratory thing. This was like, now I'm moving away. And I was an only child and I was close to my parents. And I remember like, just going into this tailspin of like, I'm leaving, and like suddenly my cat is like, oh, I'm gonna let my cat again. And, like, and, and my mom was gonna drive out with me, and I remember like getting in the car <laughs> to drive, and, uh, and I just started crying, you know, at 18 years old, I'm just crying in the car, and my mom, you know, my, we started to pull out, and I stop, and my dad's in the driver, like, what's going on? Look at my mom, and my mom does this. She goes like, oh, <laughs> and I was like, and then I was like so insulted by that as like, like this cartoon version of me being some crybaby and stuff. But I couldn't, I couldn't break out of it. And the whole time we were driving, we got, you know, I was just despondent. And we got to LA and I was, I just had a, like a meltdown. I was just like, I, I can't, I was supposed to move in with this friend of mine who was a tour guide. And we got here, I was like, Ma, I, I gotta go home. I can't, I can't, I can't stay here. I'm gonna, you were I'm, terrified. Yeah, I was terrified. And so we got in the car and went home, which was the most, the biggest feeling of failure I've ever felt in my life, of just like, I caved, I fell apart. And even my father goes like, never be afraid of change, never be afraid. He's like lecturing me, even though he didn't want me to leave, he wanted me to take over his store, but he was more horrified by the fact that I just sh all over my dreams, you know, and, and just came back because I was afraid. And he was a, a, a good enough guy to go, you're not gonna be happy taking over this store. I would love nothing more for you to take over this store because you're the heir apparent to the store, but you'll be miserable and you want to do that. And so he's really the one that kind of sent me back out. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.